Now moving on to the ball and socket mechanism of the shoulder. Many times, if you have a contact athlete or somebody that gets hit or falls on an outstretched extremity, there is a likelihood of a shoulder dislocation. That occurs when the ball and socket mechanism is disrupted and this ball either pops out posteriorly or anteriorly. When it does this, it usually will take a portion of bone of this cup here or a bumper of tissue from that cup and displace it. And that makes that patient with a higher likelihood of redislocation at a later time. Most young patients that have this type of injury have a great, around an 85% chance of redislocation after a primary of this location. If you continue to play sports, that, that likelihood increases significantly. So for most patients that are high contact athletes that have a dislocation, uh, eventually should get a, a stabilization type procedure. Good news is the majority of these procedures all pro are performed arthroscopically through some poke holes in the shoulder where we actually recontour this little bumper back here to give the, the shoulder once again support and that keeps it from popping in and out of joint. The problem with living with a dislocated shoulder and not treating it is that especially if you're young you will develop uh, arthritis in the long term due to the instability of the shoulder particularly the more common it dislocates Every time it dislocates, the cartilage, which is the soft rubbery surfaces of the bone, will eventually wear down. When that wears down, sometimes you even get wearing down of this cup. When this portion of this cup is dislocated, or when the portion of this cup is worn down, you think of it almost as if uh, like a golf ball on a golf tee. If you have a normal golf tee and it's intact and you lay the golf ball on the golf tee, it stays on the tee and does not roll off. If you're missing a portion of that golf tee and you're missing the circumferential, uh, uh, you're missing the, this portion of the circumference, that golf ball will roll off that golf tee and will not be stable. The same thing occurs with this socket here. If you're missing a portion of the bone or if you're missing a portion of the soft tissue constraints that hold that uh, the ball and socket mechanism intact, you have an unstable shoulder which increases your likelihood of arthritis. If you are missing bone, then it, sometimes it may require a different surgery, and that surgery is what's called a Latergé procedure, which is a, it's a French term for what we, what we actually do. And in essence, all it is is creating a bone block or grafting a piece of bone to the front of this cup so the shoulder doesn't pop out of joint. Now that is an open procedure, and it does require a small incision in the front of the shoulder. We actually remove this portion of the bone, and we swing this portion of the bone, in front of the cup here to keep the shoulder from popping out of joint. Usually this is not a first time surgery unless you're missing bone and had multiple dislocations over time or you're a revision surgery where you've had it treated previously with arthroscopic surgery and that did not work and you've developed instability due to another fall and that previous surgery did, that previous surgery did not hold and you're missing bone then we usually rely on this. Uh, this usually uh, allows a very fast incorporation of this bone and gets you back to contact sports after fixation and stabilization of the shoulder. So as always, do your due diligence in picking your surgeon, discuss your surgical options, and never ever, uh, never, ever hesitate in asking for a second opinion. If you have any questions regarding any of these issues, please feel free to contact my office. Thank you.